सुधाकर बरबड़े असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टुडे वी विल डिस्कस इमेज एनहांसमेंट यूजिंग फ्रीक्वेंसी डोमेन लर्निंग आउटकम एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू अप्लाय इमेज एनहांसमेंट ऑलगोरिथम्स इन फ्रीक्वेंसी डोमेन contents in this session we will discuss some basics of image enhancement in frequency domain then we will see the ideal low pass filter which is used for smoothing an image and ideal high pass filter which is used for sharpening of an image let us see first the frequency domain concept which consists of dft that is discrete fourier transform and how the discrete fourier transform of a, of an input image will look like okay so the dft of a two dimensional image can be visualized by showing the spectrum of image component frequencies for example this is a input image in spatial domain having coordinates x and y okay and if you convert this uh, input image which is in spatial domain in frequency domain by using this discrete fourier transform we get the image after some uh, modifications in the uh, transform that is Uh, just we are using shifting operation of a discrete fourier transform property okay so here this is a u coordinate this is a v coordinate and origin of the coordinate is at the center where here in spatial domain the origin of the coordinate is here top left whereas origin of the coordinate in frequency domain is taken at the center for uh, easy uh, uh, implementation let us see how we can uh, implement this dft for image enhancement now let us see how we can use this dft for image processing and for image enhancement in this particular class so to filter an image in the frequency domain we should follow these three steps and these three steps are given in this diagram so first step is what uh, we have to uh, compute the discrete fourier transform of a input image named as f of xy okay after pre processing it is applied to this uh, block that means here what we have to do is we have to find out the uh, discrete fourier transform of this input image f of xy and we get the output in the form of frequency domain named as capital f of uv where uv are the variables in the frequency domain and xy are the variables in the spatial domain after that what we do is we uh, multiply our uh, dft of a input image with the filter function h of v, uv which is also specified in the uh, frequency domain so this uh, multiplication input Uh, f of uv is multiplied with h of uv where h of uv is a filter function and we get this multiplication keep in mind in spatial domain uh, filtering operation is done by using convolution operation but in frequency domain this is uh, converted into a simple multiplication operation okay then finally we uh, compute the inverse discrete fourier transform of this uh, result so that we can get the information that is image back into our spatial domain which is named as g of xy which is an enhanced image after some post processing okay. so let us see 
how we can implement different uh, uh, filters for uh, enhancing an image using frequency domain. So, first we are studying ideal low pass filter which is used for smoothing an image. So, what it does is it simply cuts off all frequency components that are dis specified distance d0 from the origin of the transform. So, if you look at this diagram, there are three, so actually these three diagrams are just uh, same concept, but are represented in three different ways. So, this is represented in 3D view, this is represented in image view and this is represented in coordinate view. Okay. So, here if you look at uh, this is a white circle at the center means uh, value 1 and here all these pixels are black means value is 0. If I multiply this uh, filter function with our input image, what will happen is wherever 1 is there, only these portion of the input image will maintain and that corresponds to low frequency values. Only low frequency values are maintained and high frequency values are cut off. Okay. That is why it is called low pass filter. Same thing is represented in coordinate system that is this is a, a distance d0 that is from the center of or we can say radius of this circle. So, up to d0 the value of the filter function is 1 and after d0 the value of the filter function is 0. So, this on x, uh, x axis we have distance of uh, some pixel from the center that is called d of uv and this is a filter function h of uv. And in 3D view the same is explained here for example, this is a, a u coordinate y coordinate in frequency domain and at the center we see the highest values that means this is a h of uv and uh, up to distance d0 and after that distance the value is flat that is 0. Now, one more important is changing the distance changes the behavior of the filter. That means, if I change this d0 to some another value say d1, then uh, the effect of that uh, will uh, uh, dominantly we will see in the enhanced image. So, let us see what is uh, how to represent the ideal low pass filter in the form of transfer function. So, the transfer function of ideal low pass filter is given as h of uv is 1 if the distance of particular point is less than or equal to that uh, radius d0 and h of uv is equal to 0 if the distance of the particular point or pixel uh, is greater than this d0 where d of u is given as that means distance of that particular point d of u v is given as uh, uh, u minus m by 2 square plus v minus n by 2 square raised to 1 half that is simple Pythagoras theorem is used to find out the distance of pixel from the center where m and n are the size of the input image uh, in rows and columns. So, m rows are there and n columns are there in an input image. Let us see the effect of low, uh, ideal low pass filter. Uh, we are applying this ideal low pass filter on this input image. Here this uh, image and uh, some eye part of this uh, lady is here uh, explored more. So, here we see the, these blemishes we can find, find out. So, ideal low pass filter used to remove blemishes in a photograph uh, given in the uh, this uh, figure. So, here after applying this ideal low pass filter, if you observe here, this is blemishes are reduced. If further the same ideal low pass filter is applied, we see that the blemishes are vanished off. So, this is what one of the application of ideal low pass filter. Now, let us have a question, what will be ideal high pass filter transfer function? You pause the video and answer the question. So, the answer is given in this slide that is ideal high pass filter. Naturally, the, uh, the transfer function of the ideal high pass filter is a reverse of that. That means, here instead of uh, uh, white circle here, here it is a black circle and outside it is white. That means, opposite of the earlier one. 
So, h of u v is equal to 0 if d of u v is less than or equal to d, d 0 and it is 1 if d of u v is greater than 0. Same way the ideal high pass filter is also represented in three different ways. This is a three dimensional representation, this is a image representation, this is a uh, coordinate representation and if you look at here the value of h of u v up to this d 0 point is 0 whereas value of h of u v uh, if the input pixel value is greater than uh, d 0 the, it is 1. Okay. So, let us see the effect of this ideal high pass filter. This is an input image and we are applying this uh, uh, ideal high pass filter with a different uh, that is d 0 is equal to 15 here, d 0 is equal to 30 here and d 0 is equal to 80 here. If I go on increasing the, um, uh, the image gets more and more sharpened. Just you look at if the image is that means distance is 15, we see that uh, this image is not uh, too sharp, but if I uh, increase this to 30, the image is sharpened and here for 80, it is more sharpened. References for preparing these slides, this digital image processing by uh, Rafael C. Gonzalez and Richard E. Woods by Tata Macro Education, the book which is I used for. Thank you. Thank you very much.